Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Orphan Last, and hopefully this is going to be a really short tutorial. Uh, so, uh, th there's been a question that's been posed to me multiple times, actually, on uh, the uh, Discord chat in, op in the Open Tunes section. And uh, this is just a chat room, I have a link in the description. Uh, that uh, in, the, in the description of every single one of my videos, I have a link to this. So um, if you want to be talking to me and a bunch of other animators, this is a good place to be. Uh, people, Some people know uh, one aspect of this program more than I do, and others uh, are asking me questions. I, I, I answer as many questions as I can. If I can find the Open Tunes section, that would be really great. Uh, Open Tunes right there. And you can see... Uh, there's a nice long conversation going on here, and it just keeps on going on. And uh, sometimes I share things on here that I'm not really willing to share on uh, my YouTube channel. So if uh, if you really want to 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 get some good information, this is a good place to be. But inside of this chat, uh, there have been multiple times where oh wow, there's been. Wait a second. No, I think this is... It's just loading information. It's already loaded. Okay, but there, there, there have been a lot of questions that have been posed here, questions that I've been able to answer, um, some that I've been able to refer them to other people that seem to know what they're talking about with that specific topic, and um, it's helped me, uh, and it's helped others, so I highly suggest you go to it. So the question that keeps getting posed is, how do you put a PNG file. This is a PNG file, and if I open this PNG up, it's uh, my sketch of, uh, of my cutout animation. And uh, it, I, I went ahead and I, 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 I saved it as a PNG file, and it basically ex it, it turned it into a PNG file with the highest settings humanly possible. So, um, this is a good image. So, uh, and I hover my mouse over it. It says it's a PNG file. Now, notice the way that I named this file. So, it's Icarus, that's the name of the character, dot zero 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 one. So, if you had another frame that you made on, a, like if you're wanting to draw all of your levels on a different program, if you had another level, you would call it Icarus, and that it, 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 I would call it in this case Icarus dot zero 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 two for the second level, and so on and so forth. And I could just select all of them and throw them into the X sheet. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that right now. Throw it into the X sheet, and so I don't need that anymore. And uh, there we have it. We have my guy. He's he's absolutely huge, and I'm okay with that at least for now, and uh, we zoom in on it, we can see that it's still a raster image because we can see all this little pixelization, the image is made up by uh, thousands upon thousands of little tiny square dots. Okay, and so we want it to be uh, not a raster image, so let me go ahead and address that. Okay, so we need to get into the browser tab. You need to select the column, the PNG column, okay? I'm selecting this column right here, Icarus. It says, well, I'm selecting that level, basically. The Every every level that I start drawing here um, would wind up being listed as a level file. So basically what I'm doing is I'm selecting the level file. And I go ahead and select, uh, or right-click, and then convert to vector. Now, sometimes these uh, little render thingies wind up working correctly, and sometimes they just do their own stinking thing. And I wish I could just kind of like click and drag, like on Photoshop, but no, I have to rely on this zoom in, zoom out thing that, that I, I just evidently have to do. Now, there's this one area, actually, that I noticed the first time that I did this where there were some problem areas. There's, like, this weird stuff going on. Evidently, I didn't clean this up enough. Let's see what happens if I turn the threshold all the way up. 
Okay. So it looks like it did a lot of weird stuff. So what if I turn it all the way down? Huh. Okay, so it did a much different result. Let me... Uh, the problem is, is uh, all of the lighter or thinner lines wound up disappearing. So let's turn it up to 7. Okay, that... That looks pretty dang good. I'm liking that. And if I go back to the groin area where there was a lot of problems, there are still problems. What? Okay, so the threshold. Let's go accuracy up to 10. Okay, so it looks like whenever this turns red, it's busy trying to render. Okay, what if we turn it all the way down to 0? I'm um, to 1. What happens? Am I unsatisfied with anything? That's the question. Okay, oh, let's zoom out and zoom back in. Okay, as with anything with open tunes, if you let's say let's say I want to uh, zoom in on his face, I would just kind of hover my my mouse over his face. If I'm not quite getting there, I move my mouse away from his face, zoom out, then move my mouse towards his face again while I zoom in. Okay, so that's that's looking pretty good, but uh, problem is. There's that opening there. Um, I don't want there to be an opening there. So I'm going to have the threshold at, let's see, 7, and then 8. Okay, so I'm liking 8 a hell of a lot better. And um, I'm liking the accuracy all the way up at 10. Now, what about despeckling? Let's take a look at this. Okay, I, the first time I did this, there was this little speckle right here. Um, let's turn it all the way down. What happens when I, 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 I think it, it should have like millions of little speckles. Okay, so there's a little speckle right there now. Um, what if I turn it all the way up? What happens? Okay, so it got rid of that one. Do I see any problems around the entire image here? Okay. Like, man, it would be so much easier if I could just click and drag. I, I swear to God, it would be so much easier. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... Okay, so since I didn't didn't have to scan this image in from, a, like, with from a printer or anything like that, I don't think I need to worry about losing any pertinent information from despeckling. Maximum thickness is 200, evidently. Uh, start, 100% and 100%. Preserve painted areas, add border. I don't need any of that. Enhance ink recognition. Okay, that's cool. Uh, now, one thing that I did experiment with was trying to convert it with an outline. Uh, what it did is it had either a never-ending loading, loading screen or, or loading pop-up. Uh, or it, it just took forever. So I'm going to go center line. That seems like it works. And then boom. Okay, we can see another level was created. We go into basic and we can see it. All right. So let's uh, go ahead and turn off this column. And for some reason this turned red. But uh, I think that's because it's not in the project files. But uh, what in the world? I zoom in and I converted it to vector. Ah, oh, okay. I had the wrong thing selected, evidently. Okay, so let's turn this off. I turned off the raster version, the original file that I threw in. And I zoom on in and I can see this is a vector image. And so what I'm going to have to do is go around this image and uh, plot the selection tool and uh, just select things and delete them and uh, like uh, basically just police it and try to get everything to look just right. Now I'm going to turn this on and turn down the opacity. Anyways, that pretty much concludes it for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.